Hello, all my beautiful crafters. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Danielle's Craft Diary. I want to show you what I got this week real quickly so I can get it put away. I've been waiting. It's in a pile on the side of my craft table here, and I'm just dying to get everything put away. So let me start out with my Dollar Tree haul. Someone just told me that they purchased one of these little trash cans and I know I've seen these at Dollar Tree before um, and they said they paid a ridiculous amount of money I forget like I don't know $12 or something on Amazon which I thought was insane and I saw them at Dollar Tree so I picked two of them up they're cute little trash cans I'm gonna probably vinyl something on it um, and take them to my retreats when I'm not going to have a whole lot of trash that I'm expecting to be using or cross stitch something that can just house um, a little tiny a little tiny amount of trash um, I found this in the nail polish department and I've seen people use them you put it on your finger when you're weeding so when you're taking your vinyl scraps off if you do any vinyl decals or sticky things like that um, sometimes I'm using like the pop dots and they have all of the the backing the individual backing so you take your little tool and you just kind of catch it here and all your trash will go in there instead of uh, trying to peel each one off and stick it down in the trash can because sometimes that has some static electricity and it doesn't want to really come off uh, I got some of these chalkboard tags, I am considering doing some craft shows coming up for the holiday season. So I figured I would pick these up for price tags since I saw them. I have to tell you, this was a different Dollar Tree that I went to. I've never been to this one before. It was about 12 minutes from my house. And I have to tell you, they had the biggest craft section I have ever seen. So I picked up some sequins for shaker cards. I have some sequins, but I figured for $1.25, this is uh, not a bad deal at all. Um, you guys, if you haven't been to Dollar Tree, some of you might be like, say what? Especially for junk journaling. They had stamps. And I went through, they had a bunch of them. So I went through and I got one of each. I think there may have been one or two that I didn't get. But I was so impressed, I have not stamped these yet. So I don't know if they stamp well or not, but they look to be pretty good. They look the same weight as something that you would buy online or in a uh, stamp store. But I was so psyched when I saw these. I thought it was so cool. So if you are a journaler, a junk journaler, and you don't wanna go out and spend a lot of money on stamps, and you, know, you say, well, I would only use it here and there, this is absolutely perfect. And who knows what your Dollar Tree has. You might have, you know, a different selection of them that you like more or less. <laughs> so check those out. I also bought these for little price tags. They have little clothespins on them. So if I have things in baskets, I can just clip that onto the end of the basket. You don't want to spend a lot of money on displays and things if you're doing craft shows. Now I was excited to see these also and the reason is not that I don't have them already, but I can leave these in my travel bag and not have to pack these up. It's one less thing I have to pack up when I go to retreats. So there's a, a weeding tool and there are some piercing tools there and you can score um, and kind of bone fold on that end. And then this is a scoring tool also. So I am excited for those. I got a couple more clips and chalkboard holders. Uh, sorry, uh, price tags and a spatula. So that was it for my Dollar Tree haul. And then I went to a store near me that does a lot of recycling of things to, and turns it into art in order to keep it out of the landfills. And I found some old Reader's Digest these were three dollars each but i thought they were really cool to put into some junk journals so i thought that was a good find i also got some old piano paper there isn't this gonna be really neat for some junk journals this was four dollars for this whole roll i thought that was really really cool so i will definitely be back to that 
store. Um, they have vendors in there also, and I inquired about selling some of my things there, and I'll, I'll be taking some things in and doing a trial run for a month to see how it goes. So I got my order from, oh, I also got uh, Eileen's, Aline, sorry, uh, tacky glue from Dollar Tree. Um, I got my first order from Simon Says Stamp the other day. I'm pretty sure it was the first order at, or one of my first orders. So that finally came the other day. Actually, yeah, it might have been a couple days in because I think this one was a couple days in. Um, but this was a, this, these are stamped timbers, but they're not the exclusive. So you can still get these. I don't think this one's exclusive because it will say up there like who the designer is with. So they're not exclusive, I don't believe. So if you still want those, you can get them. But I love cone flowers. They're my absolute favorite flowers. I thought these were really cute. Pink and Maine has a um, stamp that's similar, I believe. And I really, I really like it. So I thought these were really cute. And easy to color, easy to stamp. I also got this embossing folder, which has leaves on it. And their embossing folders are really, really thick. Sometimes you have to mess around with your plates a little bit. This uh, is a die, a layered pumpkin die. So if you've never ordered from Simon Says Stamp, this is how their dies come, which I wish they were packaged just a little bit differently because you just have to, you know, store them differently. And look at that. Those are still conjoined, conjoined twins there. But I will put these on magnetic sheets and in my little plastic sleeves and away it goes. And this one is also a die. And this one is in plastic. Some of them, a lot of times they don't come in plastic, like, like this one. I did get some Spanish sentiments also. I think I showed you guys in my last video, but I thought um, it would be nice to have some sentiments in other languages. And this stamp is really cute. So there are sayings like gobble till you wobble, um, you know, let's give thanks, and then a whole bunch of things that you could put uh, for next day, turkey and stuffing sandwiches, for room on the couch, for post-meal naps, because you agreed to host this year, um, for elastic waistbands, <laughs> for clear plates, full stomachs, can't lose. Um, you know, it's just so funny and grateful. And then you could, same thing, put a bunch of things. Um, I only have pies for you. Grateful that you cooked instead of me. The carbs don't count during the holidays. But I thought this, this was really cute. So this one is with CZ Design. Um, Kathy, she's, she's funny. If you don't watch her, she is funny. I like her a lot. She does her crafting in her craft slash dining room. Craft room dat slash dining room. I picked up some jelly roll pens. These are never bad to have on hand, especially the white ones during the holiday for some white accents on um, your snowflakes and things like that. Now, I went to the library the other day. I host a craft group at the library and they have a, um, a used book room where they have sales. Well, the women were in there that day working in a back room and they just kept taking like, um, wagons of books outside and I happened to ask her because this is what I do I said where are you going with all those books <laughs> and she said well we can't sell them and they don't recycle so we have to throw them in the trash and I said you know that kills me because there are so many junk journalers out there would you you know think that you would do well if you put you know them in a box and just said free on it and she said unfortunately they've tried that but no one comes and takes them and the library doesn't want them you know sitting out which I can understand because they're taking up space and in this cafeteria area and things and it's a pretty busy library so anyhow um you know she said if you're looking for anything in particular because I told her that I did junk journaling she said, you know, um, let me know. And, and I, I told her, you know, I like the music notebooks and like the old Reader's Digest and anything like really old. And she said, hey, she said, I have this Norman Rockwell book. It has a broken spine. I can't sell it, but I was going to give it to my daughter because she's an artist and I thought she would like it. But you know what? I want you to have it. And so she gave me this book and I thought this book was so 
cool. So it's not super, super old, um, 1984, and it had a Barnes & Noble's 30% off sticker on it, but I don't know if it actually came from Barnes & I don't know how long Barnes & Noble's been around. But anyhow, uh, when I was going through this, I thought this was so awesome, and the spine is totally broken on it, so the, the book is going to fall apart. And I was just thinking how awesome this would be for a junk journal cover. Wouldn't that be amazing? So I can't wait to dig into this and use some of these photos, some of these pages in, um, I mean, that's just, that's just awesome, right? Some of these are, are just amazing and I cannot wait to turn those into something that instead of going into the trash can, which she was going to give it to her daughter, but you know, it, this could end up in the trash can and I know it kills some people to think, you know, to rip the pages out, but this was close to the dumpster. Think about it. Somebody already gave it to the library because they didn't want it. And uh, I, I am excited that that is going to live on. So I told you guys last time that I got an Echo Park order. I had put in an Echo Park order for the warehouse mystery box. Sorry, I forgot to pull my address label off of it. Um, so they did a warehouse mystery box, which they do often, and they have a lot of warehouse sales. But anyhow, you pay $50 at, well this sale was $50. I think they've always been $50 that, I've, that I have um, purchased. So you pay $50 and you get a box. You don't know what you're getting in it. So this box comes, it's pretty, pretty thick, you know, um, probably it's not quite a square. So maybe it's a 13 or maybe like 14 by 13. Anyhow, let's see what's in here. It was funny cause I had it on the counter. It's not the size of a large pizza box, but it could be a small, maybe. <laughs> and my husband came home and he's like, oh, you got pizza? I'm like, no, but if you're willing to go get it, I don't have to cook tonight. Anyhow, here are some little six by six paper pads, which are always good to have. I like making envelopes out of these little, little envelopes. Sometimes I'll sit and just make a bunch of envelopes. And I'll sit on the couch. I'll cut them all and then I'll sit on the couch and score and fold them. So these are great to take on a crop or if you need them, if you have the matching big paper pack, I usually will get a six by six pad because I feel like I need just another couple pieces of paper, just just a few more. Got some washi tape. I don't use washi tape, but I will use it in my embroidery machine. So um, if it's sticky enough to hold my, my things down, sometimes it's not sticky enough. They sent some brochures about, oh, maybe you guys shouldn't see that coupon. Some stickers here. This was really neat. I thought maybe it was a die at first, but it's not. It's some really nice textured paper and you would um, shape it into a flower there. This is just a wall hanging, which I will not hang. I don't have a lot of wall space and the wall space that I do have, I reserve. That is a uh, big real, real estate. So I reserve that for my own makings, my quilts and wall hangings and things like that. So this is some chipboard and I don't know if I have the matching paper pack for it, but I probably do. <laughs> I have a lot of Echo Park paper packs, um, probably about 200, no lie. So my goal is every month to use at least one pack and lately I've been, I, I've been doing that. So we'll, we'll see, you know, a couple years from now, maybe I'll have it under control. These are paper punches, these um, are paper cutouts. So I could just pull those out of there and use them as ephemera. I know for sure that I have this pack. This is like their Disney, of course I can't say Disney, but you obviously can tell this is like their Disney um, paper pack and this is a craft one. I know I have this paper pack also. So it's nice when you do get things that you've already, you already have matching paper pieces to it. I don't think I have this one, but again, I have so many paper packs. I've done I've done these warehouse sales a couple times and I've also done um, their sales. So they will put the paper packs on sale, which I don't know if it's still going on right now, but I know the other day they had it. And I started putting things in my cart and I'm like, no, no girl, you can't do it. So this is a cute one for a little boy. 
So I make these into little albums and you can stick pictures in there or journal or whatever, but I'm pretty sure I have that one. But that's okay because I do like to have two. If I know I'm gonna journal with these, make journals, I am definitely buying two. So if I have two, that's totally fine. And these were just some paper. I wish I had this one when I did my son's graduation layout a couple months ago. He graduated in May. So from high school, now he's in college. Uh, this one is really cute. I don't think I have this one, but that means I probably do. Usually when I show you guys these, I'm like, oh, I love that. I don't have it. And then I go to put it away and I'm like, I do. I have three. <laughs> I know for sure I have this one. It's going to make my sister's recipe card book with like um, some of our family recipes in it for Christmas. I don't know that they'll really, they'll be like, oh, that's cute. The one will like it a little more than the other because she she redoes furniture. She gets furniture like free on marketplace and things and yard sales and stuff. Um, she'll pick it up for cheap and then she'll redo it and paint it and then and then sell it. And so she um, understands and appreciates the time you put into making things. And the other one, I think, I think she made a wreath once. So just one time. That was that was enough for her. All right. And this one I love too. Super cute. I am happy with this box for sure. Now, it just for reference, if you go to a scrapbook store, these are going to be anywhere from, I've seen them $15. Um, usually they're like $14.95 at the Crafted Butterfly, and I think they have good prices. There's another scrapbook store around here, and I don't go there often, but I have seen these for about $20 there. Um, so when you're using that as a reference, and then you see that I got, how many, six, seven, just, uh, well, let's see, I think there were three, four, five, six paper packs, and then two of these for $50 plus all of this ephemera and dots and, and things like that. So it's a pretty good deal. I've received boxes from them before that I wasn't thrilled with because it, you know, they just weren't my style as far as designs and things, but I haven't had any issues where I, I didn't think I got more than $50 worth, that's for sure. I usually get, um, you know, I, I usually get, I think it's, I think they say like 100 or $120 worth. So, so that is it for Echo Park. And I'll be able to get that away today. Uh, we are, I'm in Florida. And I don't know what today's date is, the 26th or something like that of September. But we are bracing for Hurricane Ian. So it is uh, definitely coming. <laughs> and I'm in Tampa and uh, we are definitely getting hit. So today I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, just straightening up laundry, things like that. We're going to be... Uh, fine. We're inland. We are we are on the eastern side of Tampa, so we're quite a bit inland, but they are saying that this is going to be, um, you know, that Tampa's never seen flooding like this ever. So the storm surges, the storm is supposed to hang around for a couple days, which means major flooding. And, um, you know, so I just want to, I don't know if we're going to lose electric. We have, we have a generator, so uh, we're very fortunate, but if we do lose electric, you know, I'm just doing laundry today and, you know, trying to get things in order so that if we do, you know, I don't have to worry about laundry and things like that. So I'm just trying to get a little bit ahead. So we um, have been in Florida for three and a half years. We've had a couple hurricane uh, dry runs so far, but this one is coming. They said on the news this morning, they said even if it shifts, it's not shifting enough for it to really make a difference for us right now it, and in terms of shifting for the good. So um, it is coming. Today is Monday and it's supposed to start uh, really early Wednesday morning. So. So we will be fine. We did live through Hurricane Sandy and Hurricane Irene. We lived in New Jersey um, and Irene completely destroyed our downstairs. We had a finished basement and that completely flooded out. We had to replace all the drywall and things like that. So hopefully Florida is a little nicer to us. Anyhow, we will, we will be fine. So, um, you know, just say a prayer for the people who are going to lose their homes and, you know, maybe don't have the means to, um, 
you know, get, get out because not everybody can hop on a plane or jump in the car and run. I know last night my friend went to the gas station and it was pretty hard to find gas already. Uh, gas was out. So hopefully they have tankers coming in today and things. And um, it's uh, we've had a huge influx of people from other states have moved to Florida over the past year or two, um, the real estate here was on fire. It was it was insane. It has slowed down now, but um, people coming from all over the country, all over the world, but uh, a lot of people have never experienced a hurricane before and they are panicking, under, understandably so. Um, and some of the uh, people who have been here for a while, you know, they're just not they're just not that helpful <laughs> when it comes to a lot of them say, don't panic, don't panic, but it's um there's a difference between panicking and preparing and you know as long as people prepare that you know we're gonna be fine everybody's gonna be all right so anyhow let me show you these journals and then i am off so i've been making these journals like crazy i have a bunch of other ones but they're all packaged up and in my um in my area where i keep my stored my my finished products for sale so i just mentioned i'm originally from new jersey so i thought this was really cute it's got a snap um it has a journal in there a little uh notepad you can get these notepads at the dollar tree or amazon and replace them this is a great size though because it goes right in your pocket in your purse in your book bag in your whatever you know and you could just Pull that out and replace it whenever you need to. I thought this was so cute, right? Little Debbie. I know, Christmas. I know some of you are like, come on, it's not even October, but it will be on Saturday. Um, but as crafters, you guys know, a lot of us are working on, we are working on Christmas already. So um, these hand sanitizers I've been making, the hand sanitizer holders, so you put the little Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer in there. It's got a snap on the back. It goes in the little pocket there. If it does spill or anything, this is just vinyl. It's like faux leather, so you just wipe it down. Um, but I, I've been embroidering. All these are done on my embroidery machine. And I did a pumpkin one here. I have a bunch of other projects that are done, but they need to be cut out. So I embroider these on you know a whole sheet, and then I have to come back and cut them out with scissors. So I've got a stack in case we do lose electricity and I'm sitting around with nothing to do, I figure I could sit and cut all those out. So I have a big pile of things to cut. Um, I'll actually show you how they are, how, how I embroider them. So here are some chicken earrings, which are so stinking cute. I absolutely love those. I'll be listing those in my Etsy shop also. And of course, if you know a Christmas story, you know exactly what those are, but I thought those were really cute. Um, I do think that I'm gonna be getting rid of my Etsy store come November, uh, November, December, probably the end of the year. A lot of my listings expire then and I'm not gonna renew them. I sold a journal the other day for $50 and after Etsy's fees and shipping, I received $27. The paper cost me 12. So the um, price of shipping and the Etsy fees, I received a $7.50 fee for an outside link. And I don't see anywhere in my Etsy where I have the option to turn that off. Um, and I looked in their search and everything and I couldn't find anything. So apparently this person came from an outside link that I did not post. And uh, cause I don't try to advertise outside of there and I was charged $7.50 for them clicking on that link on a $50 item. So anyhow, um, <laughs> there's my rant. It's just not worth it for me on Etsy. So I'm gonna be setting up my own website and maybe doing some local um, vendor sales and trying to maybe rent a space if I can find a space where I can rent uh, to have like my own booth in a store somewhere and also doing consignments and things locally. So aren't these so stinking cute? These little, remember these McDonald's pails? But anyway, this is the way that I embroider. I put the vinyl in here and then my embroidery machine does the work and then I have to come back with scissors and cut this all out. So I will poke a hole right here and then I will hang these probably on a ball chain and then you can use them as a, um, as a, you know, as a keychain, as a little ornament on your keychain. And there's the back. So, all right. So that's all that I have for you today. Um, please, everyone, this storm is not going to impact just Florida. This is going to go up the whole East coast, um, possibly even up to Canada. So if you are within that zone, please, you know, prepare, don't panic, just prepare and, uh, say a prayer for everyone in its path. And, um, 
you know, stay safe. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bye.